Yeah, it is very easy. All right, we've got a straight line method, straight line depreciation uh, schedule. So we're going to complete a schedule. The capital cost is 13,000. I have a residual value of 1,000. Um, now my cap, my um, but depreciable amount, so this amount here, where's my depreciable amount? This amount is worked out by my cost minus my residual. So, so this is just 13,000, which was my cost over here, minus my 1,000, which was over here. So we only want to depreciate the value that we're going to use up. So if we have remaining value, we've got to take that into consideration. Now, the other way to do um, calculate depreciation expense, this has given me a um, factor or a rate. The other way to calculate it is my cost minus my residual divided by my life. Now, do we get told how much the life of the vehicle is? No, I forgot to put that in, but this is in the textbook, so if you have a look in your textbook, it'll say the life is five years, and the easy way to work out my life is that it's 20% per annum. So I just have 12,000 here, divided by five, and that would give me my annual depreciation. So what's my annual depreciation? 12,000 times 20% is 2,400. Now my accumulated depreciation is just the sum of my depreciation expenses. So at this stage it's just 2,400. And my carrying amount is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation. So let's just put a little one here and a little two here. So it's one minus two. So my cost minus my accumulated depreciation gives me 10,600. The depreciable amount? No. Because what I'm looking for is my carrying amount. So it's not going to be my depreciable amount minus my accumulated depreciation. Because if what I'm looking for is what's the value of my asset after one year's worth of depreciation? So it becomes cost minus accumulated. A lot of students make that mistake. So. Alright, so next year we're doing exactly the same. Because we're doing straight line method, my depreciation is the same every year. So I'm at 2,400. My accumulated depreciation is the sum of my depreciations, which is 4,800. And my carrying amount is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation, which gives me 8,200. 8, yep. Once again, depreciation is 2,400. Adding my depreciations together, this plus this, will give me 6,000, 7,200 and my carrying amount is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation to give me 5,800. Again 2,400, 9,600 is my accumulated, uh, 3,400 is my carrying amount. 2,400, this will give me 12,000 and my carrying amount is 1,000. <coughs> so is everyone okay with that bit there? Yes. All right, now just below it, we're gonna do depreciation expense for one year or how do I record my depreciation in a journal form for one year? Now, record, it says to record depreciation expense. We all know that expenses are debits, aren't they? Yes, they are, Morris. Excellent, everybody. So it's 2,400. And what I'm looking now for is accumulated depreciation. which, I'll just bracket, this is a negative non-current asset, and that's 2,400. Contra asset. Contra asset, you could call it a contra asset. Well, I like the idea of negative non-current asset. So it tells me it's reducing my um, asset balance. 